Hello everyone, I'm Sam Kompengla and I'm the lead character artist on the Dead Space remake. I'm here today to give you a sneak peek on how we created the Isaac Intermediate Engineer suit, the slasher, and talk about our artistic process and our tools. Before I get started, I'd like to warn you that I will be showing some graphic content. There will be blood and guts, well, everything that makes Dead Space so lovely. Let's start with Isaac Intermediate Engineer suit. During the early phase of our project, we took inspiration from the legacy model and we followed the rules that made Isaac's suit so iconic. Looking at the ribbing that is inspired by Gothic architectures and human anatomy, the three lines on his helmet, and the overall layered look that reminds us this is a worker's outfit and not a military uniform. This was the thinking we used as we redesigned the suit for our remake. We were tempted to go in a science fiction direction, but kept the suit design low-tech, dusty, dirty and greasy. We kept in mind that the suit was produced by a greedy corporation like CEC and was built in an utilitarian way, with a low production cost. And so, here we are with the new design, making it functional. And as you can see, we made sure the suit was airtight at the seams to make it feel believable for use in outer space. Here we are in ZBrush, where the character model is sculpted as if it was formed by digital clay. This is where we do most of our sculpting and where we spend most of our time creating the character. The head is worked in a separate file and in a different way as it is based on a gunner's rights head scan and come with all his facial expressions. The helmet is worked on separately as well because of the size of the file as it tends to slow us down. As you can see here, we worked on the outside and inside of the helmet, so it matches when Isaac removes it. Since you already saw Isaac in game on the previous live stream, I will use this time to take you on a tour of Substance Painter, which is a texturing software. There are plenty of layers to get to the final result. It goes from the base of the fabric to the dirt and many metal variations. This is here as well that we add micro detail like fabrics and grain. The design of the suit was purposely kept low cost. We also avoided rare material like leather due to its rarity on Earth in the Dead Space universe. We used instead synthetic material and dull metal that oxidized quickly. We took as reference real world miners from the surveys, and like them, Dead Space Universe miners are given cheap outfits because the company didn't equip them well and didn't care about their safety. Now that we've seen Isaac's suit, I'd like to show you a slasher since there is always one waiting around the corner. Or busting out of a vent. We researched the legacy concept and model, taking note what made the slasher a memorable enemy with its claw-shaped arm and deformed body. Not only the design itself was important to our new slasher, but it was equally important to make it satisfying to dismember and peel away its layers. Here are some visual developments on how we wanted to dismember the slasher from its intact state to the fully destroyed one, with all the phases in between, some peeling, dismemberment with hanging parts, and finally the fully dismembered version. So, we started to think about the inside. This is the part that will be revealed when you shoot at the necromorphs. Naturally, we wanted to expose its internal organs since this was the base of our recipe. Then, show it bones, muscles, and fat. We didn't want it to see all the muscles, as it's only supposed to reveal a wounded part made by Isaac's tools. The next question we asked ourselves was, how could we build a system that fit most of the necromorph? Well, the solution was to cut it in pieces. As you can see, all the parts are separated. This way, we could use them as we wanted, like for the brute, which is made of three humans, we can easily kit batch its skeleton this way. All internal organs are also separated. This way, we could use them as we wish. Now that we covered the inside of the slasher, Let's see where we are with the outside. We sculpted it in ZBrush, thinking about how the skin stretched and tore as the limb grew up very quickly during a very painful transformation. 
The layering is important here, as well as what the open wound will reveal. We have the skin, fat, muscle, cartilage, bones, and we need to see and understand each part. Now, I will jump straight into Painter. Just like for Isaac and all our models, we sculpted them in ZBrush. But here, the texturing and materials are more interesting. First, while we are currently only showing a single skin tone, since the Ishimura is screwed by humans from all corners of the galaxy, it makes sense that our slasher reflects a wide range of ethnicities in the final game. You will notice that we reduce the amount of blood and dirt present before you start shooting at it to enhance the visual feedback of the peeling process. Finally, let me show you how we texture this little fellow, adding layers and layers of details to make it more realistic. We start with a plain color as base, and then we add some layers that will have an influence on the reflection, color, and micro volumes. We took care to think about how the wounded skin would look like, bloody, but yellowish when it's dried of blood. Then we added some more subtle details like veins, moles, and pimples. And to finish, let's add, well, you've already guessed what, blood. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Isaac suit and the slasher work in progress.